Hi, it's Rhonda Kuning here again with another manila folder technique. I am using gesso to prep the page and I put the pages together while the gesso was wet and pulled them apart so that it gives a bit of texture. You have to wait till this dries before you sketch over the top, obviously. And uh, this is the design and you'll find the printout on my website. It's a free download and you can print that out. What you do is you print it out, spray it with a fixative or what I use is spray enamel car paint and let that dry and then the ink won't run when you use wet media over the top. And that's the drawing and that's the printout. So I use some ultramarine blue and white for the sky. Uh, it's a fairly um, pale mix and then I put some more ultramarine blue over the top just more in the top part of the sky because if you have this top part of the sky a deeper blue than the bottom it gives the sky some depth and uh, makes it look less flat and for the ground I've used Indian yellow and the ultramarine blue again and some white and I just put in a few heels just to give the uh, eye some where to travel along in the background. It looked quite flat at the end of that so I decided to add a layer of uh, phthalo green and ultramarine blue over the top which was yuck so I sprayed it while it was still wet with water and used a dry tissue to sponge it off and get some on the sky that I had to then fix <laughs> but I quite like the spongy effect afterwards so I didn't remove all of the gr darker green which was what I was attempting to do to start with <laughs> now cutting out the printout and there is the quote that I'm using is many blackbirds may fly over your head don't let them nest in your hair and there's a Bible verse, well half a Bible verse on there that says take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ and that's from 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5b now I start to glue those down with some uh, Mod Podge and then I realize I really need to color those pieces before I glue them down so I get out my silicon sheet and some turquoise, that's uh, thallo turquoise sprayed with some water and lift off most of that colour so that it has a nice smooth texture to it and I highlighted the eggs with some titanium white and sprayed a little bit of brown alcohol ink over the top just for speckles and did a couple of those sticks for the nest in the turquoise and then I used a mixture of Indian yellow and yellow oxide to do the quote and the other sticks for the nest. Now I start to paint in the nest and then I realize it would be so much easier to do if I put the colors in the, of the sticks in first before I put all the black around it. And so I, I'm painting in the uh, beak and the feet with that same yellow oxide and Indian yellow mix with some white and I have to have that on fairly thick to cover up the printout and I put the um, printout pieces in place just to make it easier to see where I'm going to add the other colors the eyes for the bird and those other s um, sticks around the nest are the turquoise with some white and then I'm now using some dioxazine purple and a little bit of white just so that it contrasts against the black because if you don't add the white it's too close a colour to the black and you don't really see it it just makes the black look dirty so I would advise you not to paint over where you're going to place the eggs use the um, cut out as a stencil and mark it on so that you don't paint the black behind because it'll make the eggs quite dark because if you're using just ordinary 
um, copy paper which is what I'm using um, the black paint will show through and of course you wait until all the paint, black paint is dry before you glue those other bits on and I'm just painting in what well, I think it looks like hair you might not think it looks like hair but to me it's hair around the bottom and I use a, a, a big round brush I don't know what size it is I think it's about a size 3 round brush to give the feathers of the wings and once I've done that and blocked in the big parts of the bird I swap to a smaller round brush you can see that now to do the rest of the face and to go around and I went around the eyes as well and it also makes it so much easier for going around the feet and the legs here because if you don't have a small brush it's a nightmare and I use that same brush to mark in that horizon line because I wanted the effect of a lino print I know it looks quite cartoonified at the moment but hey now that's all dry I'm gluing on those sticks for the nest that other quote and the eggs and that, that is the um, blackbird quote that I'm using up there basically the quote is about the thoughts that come to your mind that shouldn't really you shouldn't take hold of and shouldn't be part of your life the negative thoughts and I just glue those down with the Mod Podge and then I realize I really want that black line on the horizon to look more like a lino print so after I've glued down all the other words I get out a credit card and some black paint here it is. The credit card only just fits in there and that just gives a really rough outline and a little bit of movement to the horizon. And there goes the rest of the quote on there and I fill in around where the eggs are with the black. And also on the bits that I've glued down. Now that it's dry I can continue working on the bird because it looks all that black looks quite flat which is what happens when you use a lot of black in one area and I use purple the dioxazine purple and white for the inside of the mouth I wanted to limit my palette for this particular exercise I didn't want to have a whole heap of different colors and that's another reason why I used the same turquoise and purple mixtures to make the highlights for the hair that the nest is sitting in I could have possibly used the yellow but I liked the, the purple and the turquoise and I just yeah where I think the highlights should be is where I've put the turquoise and the purple in. Now I use the purple as well for the wings and I do like a layer of uh, strokes with a round brush with the purple mix and then I do a layer of black over the top and then another layer of purple to give that look of, of rows of feathers underneath the wings. and just making sure all that black gets filled in because it looks really messy when it's when it's not and I also used a darker mix of the purple on the chest and the bottom of the tail feathers just to give the bird a bit of depth without making it look like it's a purple bird <laughs> which isn't too easy to do now I use that credit card again to add some movement lines and the lino type effect around the bird and now I'm using uh, diluted um, black paint I could have used a texture or a pit pen to do this but I had the paint there 
in the water so I just use the the paint and I am going around all the, the words to highlight them and make them stand out just that little bit and smudging it so that it's not a too harsh a line because a paintbrush can give quite a harsh line if you don't smudge it adding some more movement lines around the bird and framing it in. I could have used a um, ink pad to do around the, the, f the edge that I'm doing now but I had the paint there so I thought I might as well use it. And I quite liked that smudgy effect. And now to shadow in the eggs and I also outlined on the the lines where the eggs were printed I went over those with the paint because when you colour in with the turquoise and the white it, it greys off the printout and I could have also used a pen to do the feet but I, I chose to use the paint brush to um, mark in the ridges on the feet and around where the beak is and just touching up and making the horizon line thicker and I quite like that now adding those extra birds in I scribble on the back of the birds with the graphite pencil and then turn it up the other way and trace over the top you have to keep uh, scribbling on the back because every time you trace over the top you leave that graphite on the page so uh, that just marks in where I want the birds to go and I work from the ones that are closest to the main bird being bigger and then gradually go smaller from there until they're just those little bird shapes that you see in pictures all the time the little M's and I wanted the birds to come in from both sides well to come in from the left and fly away to the right that was the whole idea that the thoughts come in and you need to throw them away to the right and that is the page and as I said you can download that printout from my website it's free and have a go yourself have fun bye